So some of you have suggested a tutorial where I talk about how do I detect when an entity actually takes damage. Well there is one way and it's using the hurt time nbt tag which we're going to get into. Now before I start I'd just like to point out that this method does have limitations which I will get to and point out when we get there. So every time I hit one of these zombies it plays a particle effect and then it will play a sound. So our first command is going to ensure that we have a blank slate to start off with. And this is going to happen by removing every tag that already exists in the world. In this case, we're using the hurt tag. Then we're going to immediately re-add that hurt tag, but only for entities with a hurt time of 10 ticks. Now 10 ticks applies to when you initially hit a mob when it initially gets damaged. Now there is a limitation in that, that this will not work, when an entity is killed because the entity is considered non-existent at that point and then when an entity takes continuous damage like from the fire as you can see it only registers the command from that initial damage taken following that you can just execute any command you want from any entity with the tag of hurt in this case i've used a particle command and a sound command and as you can see from this clip here I have a little bit of fun using explosions summoning explosive creepers at the position of the hurt entity so you get this kind of cool effect. Before I conclude the tutorial I would like to recommend a new YouTuber which I highly suggest that you guys check out and if you like their content I urge you to subscribe to them. In this case it's going to be Vanilla Burp. Now I am recommending her because well first of all how can you not? The production value of her videos are extremely well done, very entertaining. Even if you're not interested in command blocks or models, her videos are very, very entertaining to watch. And also, the models look amazing. She has a real talent for custom models, which is why I suggest that if you're into that kind of stuff, then you should really check out Vanilla Burp's channel. But for now, I hope you've learned from this tutorial. Thanks everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care.